Greetings everyone, we're going to go ahead and show you how to install Blacklight Tango down in the current year of 2022, even though the title up series here says uh, 2021. Got to change that in a second. Um, the game still does work uh, on any kind of operating system. What you need to do is follow this guide. This is the second method. Uh, if you go to the Steam page for the game itself, you'll see an older method which talks about uh, uh, doing a download from a file from, I think it's uh, Microsoft for Game for Windows Live, and you follow that link and you go through the process. Uh, it, th that is the older method. It no longer works. That download just fails when you use it. Uh, so we, I had got these game files from that current version. Um, I guess you could call it the, uh, I think it was the Games for Windows Live, uh, the DLL uh, files and things like that. There's about maybe four or five of them that you need to get from this Google Drive folder. Uh, and what you want to do is you want to put them in a particular folder um, in your uh, operating system in the C drive. Uh, but uh, what happened was in the old days, they didn't have the downloaded uh, ver downloadable version. That was later after they patched it and the uh, Games for Windows Live services were going out of, uh, you know, they were finishing up. And I think that the, at the time they had, it was still kind of going on a little bit. Um, but what this did was it kind of patched a few more things into it, but it is essentially backwards compatible. We do have people playing with this current method too uh, that you're seeing in front of you right here. This uh, it's a tutorial there, and uh, it will show you. It'll it basically you can play together. It's not it's not any really any different um, aside from maybe a sub a couple patches that they put in. I'm not sure what those patches are, uh, but this uh, this one is the only one that really currently functions at the moment. You can still get the you can still do that other method from like websites that have those game files. I'm not going to go there. I'm just going to show you uh, this. Uh, what this uh, method does is it utilizes those four files. And um, for whatever reason, when you download the game from Steam, uh, most of these games that operated with Game for Windows Live had the files in their um, uh, in their game directories and stuff. And uh, they are just missing for whatever reason in this current one. So if you go to your library, download it, and you click on it, it just it'll say it's opening, but then it'll quickly shut down and won't even do anything. You won't see anything. Um, and so what uh, this method does is it put those files in uh, into the folders where it's looking for that to start the game, and it'll actually let the game start. And then from there, you go through diagnosing how to sign into Game for Windows Live and so forth. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and do that right now. And I do trade for the code, so if you do need to uh, have access to the game and you don't have uh, uh, the game in your uh, library anymore because the services are gone, um, you will have to get the game again. I don't think that any of the data is backed up as far as your progress. It might be, but uh, just look forward to having to start over again. Um, and uh, no, the content from Xbox or PS3 uh, progress does not carry over to PC. It does just, yeah, just to cover that right away um, and uh, it just as a side note I don't do the trades for people that want to do the achievement hunters that's something you could do with other people there's uh, some links I'll leave at the bottom of the video too if you want to just do game achievement hunter and stuff there too so I mean um, it's essentially time out of my schedule to do this thing and I'm doing it for people that want to come and play if you want to do the game for you know Windows Live achievement hunters thing uh, go f coordinate with those guys over there now that that's said, let's just get into it. Um, if you have the game uh, and you've done the trade with me and that sort of thing, then all you need to do is go to your Steam, um, download the game. It's about maybe four gigabytes of space, and it will appear here on your desktop. There's the icon right there. Uh, once you do that, you'll go into the Google Drive folder here in the um, How to Play. Click on that. So once you're in the folder, you're going to go ahead and download these. You can just click download all. Um, it shouldn't take that long to download everything. Um, once you're done with that, just go to start menu and then go to your documents and it'll open up the, the windows here and just go to downloads. Uh, and right here, you'll find your uh, file. We're going to go ahead and extract all. Let's just have it done in the same folder. That's fine. All right. Uh, it's now these ones here. So these are all the DLL files. Okay, so it's uh, very important to extract the files. Um, don't go into the files, uh, uh, the extraction thing without doing the extract all. Um, and if you're anybody's curious about these, you can hover over these. They have the Microsoft Corporation on them, the, the old dates of 2014, 2010. So 
These are all legit files. These came from the working version on my desktop. Uh, once they did some kind of changes, I think what happened is they closed the game uh, from the Steam shop. And for whatever reason, it did, it affected the downloads. And then I'll also I say at the same time, Microsoft stopped supporting. They, they pulled everything, all the forums, everything off their website concerning games from Windows Live. And then they kind of botched the download version. So um, I have this. These are files from the that original, that, that previous version. Um, I'm reinstalling right now, so I'm showing you this with the second method. This is the method that uh, we show everybody that, you know, I think the game closed in 2021 or 22, uh, 2020, I believe. And so um, everything here is the method two. So these are original files that require that uh, for the old built-in version of Games for Windows Live. Um, but what we're going to do right now is we're going to go back to um, the Discord. You're going to highlight this right here. Hit copy, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go into this other, have two windows open when you do this, and just hit Control-V to paste it, and then hit Enter. All right, and um, this is where you're going to need to drop those files. So come back to this folder, copy, and go to the, your uh, SysWow64. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to just pull that over a little bit so I can just control V and then just hit OK. You know, do this for all current selections. Hit Enter. And what you'll see is they're going to be conveniently down here where they're supposed to be for the game. Um, and like I said, if you try to open the game from the desktop, it will not do anything. So these will rectify that and it'll actually let you start the game. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now that that's done, um, let's go ahead and do this in real time. I'm going to go ahead and open uh, Blacklight Tango down. And what it's going to do is going to show me the code here. And this is the uh, CD key for yourself. It's going to ask you if you want to uh, install the Steam client service. I'm not sure what this is about. Oh, yes, that's right. It's the... Uh, uh, redistribution package and I'm guessing this is what uh, yep see it's installing games for Windows Live this is pretty much the automatic uh, functions when you put the files in there um, games I'm sorry Steam is looking for these files and when they're not there it can't it can't function they won't they won't open up the game so now it's gonna let me in awesome all right so I think uh, if you get this small screen uh, press I think it's F4 let's try it okay it's not gonna let me do shit hold on a second All right, so just hit enter. Okay, just uh, I'm going to give it a second because it seems like it's trying to catch up. Uh, I'm going to press home because I think it was not working there. I'm going to press enter. All right, now it's letting me move this uh, mouse around. All right. Uh, just say you don't want to participate. Doesn't matter. Everything's closed. Uh, use existing live profile. Uh, and just so you all know, um, and I, I can't adjust the volume right now because this so this thing's a blasting a little bit. So um, gonna go ahead uh, use existing profile, and that will be your Xbox Live account. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to save everything. I'm going to hit next. Uh, and this please wait screen will take forever. So um, just hang tight and it will eventually finish. And uh, probably this is about the time where I'm going to have to forward a little bit. Okay, I got out of there. Um, just while it's doing its thing, I'm going to go ahead and show everybody. Uh, if you need to get your CD key, you can go here, and uh, it'll be right there under Manage, and it'll say CD key, CD keys. I'm sorry, and you just go ahead and click that. Uh, and what you want to do is just write it down. Uh, you can't copy and paste for whatever stupid reason, but yeah, just write it down. Uh, if you don't want to write it down, you could, you know, get your cell phone out, and 
take a picture of it, and then just input it whenever it asks you for that. And that's how you do that part. Let's go ahead and see. Okay, so I went ahead and inputted the um, CD key, and uh, what you want to do, I skipped over it because I didn't think about recording it at that moment, but um, what you'll want to do is you'll want to put in the CD key and then hit the I agree, and then what will happen is that um, it will go ahead and start saying downloading profile. Uh, now, for some of you, this might take a very, very, very long time. That was proportionally quicker than what usually uh, people have experience. Uh, if you're doing the old version, it would take sometimes anywhere from like five minutes to it took me myself 45 minutes one time to download the private file. So if it's doing that for you and it doesn't seem like it's clearing, it's working in the background. And if you've never downloaded the game before and installed it or have done so on the Steam account, um, it may take a very long time. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and I am actually into the game now. So that was that was actually really quick. So um, I hope this helps out a lot of you. Um, the game still functions, um, just to kind of look over um, what the game has to offer. It's a very small game. They have a Black Ops, which is one to four players. You could play with um, friends by invite only. So if you want to have somebody join you, you can invite them or they can ask to, I think I think they can ask to be invited to your game. And it is um, from point A to point B and it is uh, uh, PVE mode. There are four different missions and it's you can play solo too. So anybody can jump in there anytime. The only downside to this is that you do need an online uh, internet connection to play Black Ops solo, even if you're playing solo. So you can't play it that way. Uh, and then... Um, Private matches are PvP. They're player versus player. So you can play with anywhere from up to... Um, you can actually play on your own if you want to, in a sense that you could just walk around and look at the maps. Um, so if you want to play Black Ops, you can do that. And if you're like, well, what, is the, what do the maps look like for online multiplayer? Um, there are 12 maps, and you can actually go into the into them and you can see each one and you can walk around obviously there's nothing to do because you're solo but um, you can invite people that have the game the game downloaded and they could play with you one-on-one um, -on -one. Or, or you can invite up to 16 players private um, the other option is quick match uh, quick match is up to 16 players also and it's uh, it does require uh, four players to start a quick match um, and the thing with quick match is that anybody can join uh, so uh, private is invite only and uh, quick match is any if you open up a death match and uh, let's say a couple people in the uh, United States and a couple people in Europe search that mode also, they will find your lobby and they can play with you. And you need up to four people to start. So if you get three in there, you'll just be sitting in the lobby waiting for people and eventually they'll join. Uh, if there's another fourth person planning to play, you, you'll, they'll join and the match will start. As soon as they get in the lobby, it'll start counting down and the match will begin. But anyways, um, yeah, so that's pretty much the, the whole game right there is, or the whole setup was just that part. Um, what I'll do right now is I'm going to go ahead, since I am in the game now, um, it was a quick uh, setup of, uh, I guess, just Games for Windows Live really wasn't that of a ha much of a hassle right there. So that was actually a very pleasant experience. It's been very tough on other occasions. But uh, on this part of the video, I'm going to go ahead and go over some troubleshooting stuff. So hopefully um, that is essentially it. If you want to join us to play, you can go ahead and join the Discord. Look at the events. Um, you can go ahead and join the Steam. We have a, uh, a Reddit group, which you can post videos in there. Nobody posts any stuff right there lately. Um, you can post your videos there. You can post them on the Discord. Uh, and then we have a events uh, calendar where you can kind of look on either Steam or and then I also do them in the events channel. So um, anybody's welcome to come play with us. Um, I would, if you guys have good internet connection and it's decent and everybody can join you, you can host the matches and be the host and, you know, that kind of thing. So anybody's welcome to join us. We play on the weekends and anytime anybody can also just spur the moment. 
you know, say, hey, who wants to play, which, you know, honestly doesn't happen that often. So we schedule it a lot. So, but anybody's welcome to come and try to do that. So hope to see you all there. And that's the end of the video. I'm going to go over the uh, troubleshooting portions. Um, just first things first, um, now the game is actually full screen. This is what it's supposed to look like. Uh, if if you see the previous setting, it was really tiny, small, and you can um, change that here in the options. If you would go to options and go to uh, settings here, right here under video settings, you can change the output to uh, uh, 19 by 20 by 1080. And it was all set all the way down here. So um, if you don't want to keep those settings, just hit escape. Uh, no, I didn't want subtitles. No. OK, yeah. Uh, yeah, just hit that 19 by uh, 1920 by 1080 and then just hit apply settings and it should just uh, go ahead and just do that. Um, some of the other things that you could and then also uh, if you guys have your game in windowed, I think the key is F4 to change that. So that's one of the some of the little things. Uh, if you get into the game and you start playing Black Ops or something, and everything looks really dark, um, some of the things you could do to kind of rectify that is you could go here, and I think I have seen people, and it goes be either way. I've seen people fix it two different ways. Um, there's only up to one to five on the shader scale on the shader detail. So you can either raise it, hit Apply Settings, go into the game. Uh, you might have to close the game and and come back into it. I don't think you need to. Um, it might just help to do that um, come back in look and see if is it still dark if it's still dark bring it all the way down to one apply settings close the game out bring it back up uh, if that still doesn't change anything uh, what you want to do is i will go ahead and show everybody here and also if you guys have discord up um, you can hit alt escape and that will change the um you know that'll minimize black light tango down and you could do stuff okay so the area where i was talking about or the section that i was talking about the um uh, the shader problems if usually if it says lightning needs to be rebuilt um, that is one thing that you could do if you adjust it high and adjust it low uh, if those two things don't work um, what you want to do is close the game and you'll want to come here to the uh, steam app hit manage and i think it's in properties let's see yes i think it is here let's see Okay, so under local files, verita verify integrity of game files. If you do that uh, and then uh, go ahead and let it finish, it doesn't really take that long, but it will find some things. Uh, and then it will, sometimes that will fix the, the problems with the lighting and you'll go back into the game and it should be fine. Uh, if those two things don't work, I, I don't think there's not too much that I could do to kind of like help that. You could probably maybe do this and then go back and do the shader thing up and down again and see if that helps after you've done this part. Maybe it, there's a difference in that, but uh, that's about it as far as that's concerned.